Nice to meet you, Ted. Hi, Mary. Wow. It's uh, nice to meet you, too. So we're going to an award show? Uh, yep. Yeah, you just excuse us for one minute? Oh, pretty good on your feet. Are you flirting with me? Is that allowed? Yes, it's encouraged. <laughs> you know, I, I wouldn't normally say this on a first date, but, well, considering, I'm just going to say it, you are so hot. Well, thank you. You're welcome. You know that scene in Empire where they lower the helmet onto Darth Vader's head? <laughs> Do you think that's how Sandy puts his hair on in the morning? <laughs> you just insulted someone I hate by referencing something I love. Damn, you just got even hotter. As the night wore on, I started to realize this girl, despite what she did for a living, was kind of great. Hey. Hey, what were you guys talking about over there? Oh, I was uh, just telling my friend that I think you're awesome. <laughs> well, thanks. You know, this is one of the nicer hotels I've ever been in. Oh, yeah, my friend did the remodel. You see the rooms, the views are amazing. Yeah? Maybe it's too bad we don't have a room. Room 1506, my treat. You kids go nuts. Actually, don't use the mini bar. So did you and Barney ever... There's not enough money in the world. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Mary, I've never uh, done this before. Done what? You know, been on a date. <laughs> <laughs> right. Wait, you're kidding, right? Well, look, l let's just have a few drinks. We'll relax. And... Yeah, that sounds great. I had clients riding me all day long. <sighs> Must be tough. Yeah, I mean, this one guy just wouldn't leave me alone. I mean, talk about anal. I like you a lot. I, I, I'm sort of amazed at how much I like you, but I can't do this. You're a hooker. Maybe I'm old-fashioned, but I'm sorry, that's a deal-breaker for me. I'm not gonna have sex with a prostitute. No, Ted, I'm a paralegal. No, you're a hooker. No, I'm a paralegal. Uh, yeah, you, you guys never found me a match. Right, well, actually, that's why I'm calling. We found her, sir. We found your soulmate. She's your soulmate. Just read the file. So I read the file, and by God, this woman was perfect. She liked dogs. She spent her summers in North Carolina. She played bass guitar. She did the Times crossword. She played tennis. She liked old movies. Her favorite food was lasagna. Her favorite book was Love in the Time of Cholera. Her favorite singer was Otis Redding, and she wanted two kids, a boy and a girl. Lily? Hey, Ted, are you busy? Um, yes. Oh, right, soulmate forgot. Listen, could you take a cab out to Dutchess County and change a flat on Marshall's Fierro? What? What? No! Oh, thank God. I'm so sorry about this. Did you get a hold of your date? Yes. And, and, and was she okay about pushing it back? Yes, because she's perfect. So what am I doing here? So, she says, changing the subject. Your date tonight. How does she rate on the Mosby checklist? Kind of amazingly. Uh, she's 28, like me. Mm. Wow, I'm 28. Hmm. Uh, college educated, check. Plays tennis, check. Uh, favorite book is Love in the Time of Cholera, check. I read the book. But Ted just had a huge date. How'd it go, dude? It didn't go. Why? I changed my mind. I don't want to meet her. Why? She she sounds perfect. I don't want perfect. I want Robin. <laughs> OK, I just figured out where I know you from. I saw you perform at the Disorientation Theater in Bertolt Brecht's Die Heilige Johanna der Schlachterhof last fall. <laughs> you were a revelation. Really? Yeah. Oh, thanks. I wasn't sure. I mean, the point of Breck's work, of course, is to alienate, alienate the, the audience. audience. Sure. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Brectophile right here. I always secretly wanted to be an actor. It's one of those life dreams that just slipped away, I guess. Listen, if you want, I could give you some tips on acting. Really? I'd love to. Oh. OK. Acting rule number one. Don't be afraid to. Yummers! <laughs> oh, my god. <laughs> Now take a deep breath like this next thing is going to be hard to say. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Mom. Yes. Mom. <laughs> now pretend I said something nice. Now pretend I said something nice. I mean, there I go. I'm doing this. Hi. Hello. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I'm here for the band Smooth Party. My name is Marissa Heller. I got this. You know, this elevator still uses the same mechanism from when it was first installed in 1906. Rumor is, Louis Lamar Skolnick, the architect who designed this building, carved these panels himself. Oh, a Skolnick fan? Well. I love his juxtaposition between the North German Renaissance exterior and... the decidedly and French influence on the inside, I know. He was an architect with the soul of a poet. 
I've always wanted to see the inside of the Alberta. Well, then right this way. We're all together. I don't own a TV. The only operas I watch are at the Met. <laughs> You know who published a great article on Walt Whitman and the politics of semantics? Professor Hammersmith of Oxford. I am Professor Hammersmith. <laughs> Ted, there you are. We'll be blind taste testing French white snippet. Should be a hoot and a half. Well, I can't miss that. <laughs> wow, this is weird. Never gotten this far. You know, I actually sound kind of... I gotta go. Mm. Guess what smooth son of a bitch just picked up a girl at the bar? Barney, you're cheating on Nora already. No, guys, it's me. It's Janet McIntyre. Struck up a conversation at the bar while ordering. She guessed bread right away. We laughed. It was a thing. Boom. Going out tomorrow night. Uh, Janet, I have a theory. People don't get the chance to just discover each other anymore. So here's my idea. Before we go out tomorrow, let's not do any prior internet research on each other. It sounds like I'm hiding something horrible, doesn't it? I'm pretty sure you're a serial killer. <laughs> I'm not. I'd love to get to know you in person, not on my computer. I like that. <laughs> what started out sounding really creepy turned out really sweet. That's kind of my move. <laughs> this is so great, right? See, if we'd researched each other, we'd both be secretly steering the conversation one way or the other. But this is more exciting, right? Way more exciting. I mean, we can talk about anything we want. Anything. <laughs> so... How was the traffic getting here? You picked me up at my apartment. I can actually hear the sound of her vagina being boarded up. Look, I gotta be honest, Janet. First of all, this is Times New Roman. Second, I'm having trouble coming up with things to talk about. You? I'm sitting here thinking, damn it, I wish I had something as good as that font thing. That's gold. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Let, let, let's find out each other's likes and dislikes. Start with something totally random. Like, um, oh, I don't know, are you a fan of... I don't know, Annie Hall. I'm guessing that's not random at all. And you used that movie to test whether a girl is cool? No, no, it's the first movie that popped up. I love like, Annie Hall. Oh, thank God, you're cool. <laughs> uh, well, I gotta run to the restroom. But no internet, mister. If you find out my deep, dark secret, I'll have to kill you. Right, it's just my friends checking up on me. I'll politely let them know we're having a lovely time. Okay. <sighs> Ted, are you okay? You look freaked out. Janet McIntyre was amazing. What's going on? Nothing. Did I mention that I'm the youngest architect in New York history to have a skyscraper built? Oh. So, I'm not quite as far beneath you as you might think. We have one promise, and you broke it. What are you talking about? You looked me up, and now you find me intimidating. I was so excited about this. But now you're just a blubbering idiot like the rest of them. No, I ain't. I mean, no, I'd never do that thing you says. Oh. What I mean is you gooder than me, no make difference. <laughs> Pretending you're married? That's going a little far to prove your point, isn't it? Excuse me, but I think it's offensive to suggest the only reason gay people get married is to prove a point. I love your accent. Thank you. I practiced it all morning. <laughs> you are adorable. That Marshall's a lucky man. Aren't you ducky? <laughs> Seriously, if you were straight, I'd be all over you. Huh. <laughs> Trouble in paradise. We have a child together. Well, I'm free. Ready to see what it's like to be with a woman? I suppose there's a first time for everything. <laughs> Go ahead. Turn it over. Robin Shabatsky. <laughs> 